One. There was no G to G. Kenya government did not sign any contract with Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates. Only the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum signed a deal with the state-owned petroleum companies in the Middle East. Why Ruto chose to characterize the deal as a G2G is the first red flag that points to mischief in this deal. I now know that the characterization of this deal as a G2G was meant to shield the three Kenyan companies from paying a 30% corporate tax. I will return to this matter later. Two, the shilling has continued to fall against the dollar. The cost of oil has not come down since the deal was signed.